hello guys i hope you all are doing very well so um today i have some new tricks about like how to solve the switch test questions very easily um and also at the same times i'm going to discuss the basics of the switch test like how you approach these questions and things like that um so to learn all of these things stay tuned with us and also if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe and also you can visit our channel on youtube which is called random things and uh, you can watch a lot of videos about p and j test and um, you can also have a lot of free test and uh, with that let's go into our video so these are the typical uh, switch test questions that we get for the pnj interactive one of the interactive tests actually and uh, this is actually the first le level level first question types uh, in here we have like four sets of colors and in down here we have another four sets of colors and uh, in here we have an operator so uh, before i continue my video i wanted to have a uh, understanding of what are the components that in that we see in these uh, type of questions so what i want you to focus here is these numbers like one two three four we call these elements so this is element number one this is element number two and this is element number three and this is element number four so when i said element in uh, in later you have to remember that these are the things that i uh, that that what i mean all right so the other thing is the positions so the positions uh we refer the positions are uh, to the uh, numbers the position of the numbers that uh, the operator has all right so if you take this example two one four three the first position is number two the second position is number one the third position is number four and the fourth position is number three so likewise we have three operators actually one operator with uh, three options uh, we have positions for each of these operators right so these are two important things that you have to remember uh, throughout this video all right so let's go to the basics so now we have number one element number two element number three element and number four element all right so these are the elements these are the inputs we can call this as the input and these are the outputs and now in the middle we have the operator so what this operator basically doing is it's arranging this input such a way that we will get this output all right so in this operator we have three options so the idea of this question is to find the correct operator to make this input to looks like this like the output all right so for an example in here in this operator it's calling number two the element number two as the first symbol in here so number two here so we have blue cross uh, as the first element for the output all right so then it's calling number one so now we have number one we call number one and we have this for the second element for the output we have number one in here then number four see now we are calling number four now this is our fourth element and then we have number five number three uh for the output which is yellow all right so now we have the answer we we apply this operator to this input we get an answer but does this equal to the answer we have right here no that's because this is not the correct operator so now let's go to the second one again we have four element and number two number one so which is green one number three which is yellow so far so good 
and red. So if you compare this answer with this one, which is basically the same, so this is the correct operator that rearrange this input into this output. All right. So this is what the basic idea of this uh, type of questions. And also we can continue looking at the last answer, uh, which brings the yellow, uh, blue to the front and then red and then yellow and then green. All right. So this is the basic, as I said before, but uh, the real problem is when we do these questions we only have limited time to complete these questions all right so within this limited time we have to complete a uh, lot of levels we have to go to higher levels so these are basically very easy levels uh, technically you should uh, you should answer these questions like within less than three seconds i will show you how uh, but so that's the idea so that's why we need to find tricks to solve these questions we cannot spend like a lot of time like looking at oh, okay uh, number two is here number one is here number four is here number three is here no you cannot spend that much of time all right so these are the tricks so uh, if you want to learn my other tricks you can uh, I will put a link down below uh, you can go to that video and learn that trick as well uh, but I think this, uh, the tricks that I'm going to explain in this video is uh, much better than the other one. But uh, I don't know, it's up to you guys because some people may think this trick is better than the other one and other people say the other video trick is better than this, this video tricks. So it's up to you guys. Uh, whatever you are comfortable with, uh, just go with that. All right. Okay. So now I'm taking the same question. All right uh, without modifying anything and we found the middle one is the answer all right so the easy way how we can find the answer is always look at uh, the answer all right always look at us but for the questions like this you can directly draw a line from output to input all right so you draw a line from output to input and you find what is the element all right so now when you draw a line the element is number two so your answer always should start with number two but unfortunately in this example all of our answers start with number two then you draw a second line you see now your second position should be number one all right because when you draw a line from output to input connected to the element number one so the position number two in your answer should be number one right but we have two answers that has number one on the position number two right so we can officially uh, disregard this uh, operator so this is not our answer then we continue uh, this thing like drawing the third element so now we know in between these two answers the position number three should be number three so which is this all right so it doesn't matter if we continue this one or not we always know which one is the correct one but you think this still takes some time to complete so that's why i have a, another way like when you see any of these questions just always look at the answers and try to find the positions like within these operators try to find the positions that doesn't have the same number for an example uh, the first position we have all of them have two the second position we have two of them has two and the third element we have two of them has three but on the fourth element you see three four one all right so if we have different numbers at a certain position we can always directly get the answer for an example in here number position number four is different so we directly draw a line for the first fourth element we directly draw a line it doesn't matter where it is 
on the input you directly lower line and find the element number so the only only operator that has the number four at the end is yours so you didn't spend a lot of time drawing these lines all right just look at the answers look at the operators that has uh, different element number in different positions and you pick that uh, pick that position so basically the way you pick the position is let's say your third element is different just forget about these answers all right let's say your third element okay let's say your second element is different because third element and fourth element is straight line so it might confuse you um, so let's say your second element is different this is the second element all right you draw a line so the position number in position uh, position 2 should start with number 1 so that's how you basically get the answer all right so now when you answer those easy questions uh, the level of the difficulty goes up all right so in here the idea is same you apply an operator then again apply another operator to get the answer so this is your input you apply this operator and you apply one of these operators and get the answer the idea is to find the correct operator from these three operators all right so let's do this now we have element numbers one two three four and since so this is a defined operator so we don't need to choose this one is given all right so uh, in here it's calling number three which is yellow then number one which is red then number two which is blue then number four which is green all right so now you can forget about this part this operator and this part now you can consider this question as the previous question by thinking this is your input all right now this is your input for all of these operators all right so now let's individually apply this each of these operators to these uh, inputs all right so now we have element numbers now it's calling number three so now you need to forget about this one all right so number three means num uh, the third element of this uh, input okay so now number three is blue number one is yellow number four is green number two is red but this is not the correct answer we have so this is not our answer all right now let's go to the other one the same thing now number three is blue number two is red number four is green number one is yellow all right but again the first first two uh, symbols are same but the other two are on the opposite direction so this is not our answer so and eventually you know since we don't have answers here this one should be the answer so we can try that one so again we get the same thing number three is blue number two is red number one is yellow number four is green which is the which is our answer All right so this is the the typical way you can get the answer as i said before this takes time right so here's the easy way so i remove everything and you forget about this middle part like forget about all the operators uh, and as i said before you need to find a position that has different numbers all right so when you look at these operators you see the first position has number three so that's not good for us right then we check the second position okay this one has one but these two has twos all right so that's not good either so then we check the third one so both of them has fours so that's not good either all right so but the last one we have different answers like two one four all right because of that we pick the last element in here from the output all right so remember when you draw lines from up uh, bottom to the top so when you draw line from here to here it's it's like you are checking the first position of your operator all right 
if you draw a line from here to here it's like you are checking the second position of your program so likewise since your last position is different you are picking the last element of the output so now you draw a line all right so now you forget about everything in here so when you draw a line you know you have to make the combination of these operators such a way that your last position is number four all right so you need to make your last position as number four so this is your goal all right you initially forget about everything you draw a line your last position must be number four all right now you know in here when this operator call it's called like the last so this operator is rearranged in the same way that uh, we rearrange the color before remember after this operator we rearrange the color so when we have element number one two three four here this operator is exactly showing how it's rearranged so number three one two four so now you know in here number four is at number fourth position all right so to make this whole thing as like this like to get the number four at the fourth position which answer will get this done all right so we know number four is at here and again we call number four at the fourth time all right okay that might be a little bit confusing all right so remember we need to get the number four at the last position like the fourth position all right so we already know number four is at the fourth position in here okay in here it's already at fourth position so when you are calling a new operator you need to keep this position at the same position all right so when you call these numbers so in here for an example if you take this one so this is asking like take the number three position from this one okay take the number three which is two now our two is here all right now in here it's asking take the number the second position which is number one so our number one is here so likewise when this call four at the fourth position which means we are calling the position number four in here to here so we are keeping this four at the end so that's why our answer is in here in here we are asking to get the number one position number one element in here which is three so if we take this route then our answer is at number three which is not the correct answer right for here it's asking the second position right which is number one that is also not correct so that's the easy way and also i noticed that since we have like a lot of things uh related to number four in here like we pick the fourth position and we pick the number four here and also this number four is coming here and the four is everywhere so uh, i make another example all right in here uh first we check the answers all right the first position is number one in both of these operators and the second position is number three and the fourth position is number two uh, but for the third element the third position uh, i'm sorry i said element it should be position so for the third position number two here number four here number three here. now we pick this one because we are trying to see the third position all right we pick this one and we draw a line right now since we know once we draw a line we know we need to make this number two at the position number three all right so we are checking the position here and it should be number two all right so now after this operator we know the number two is at fourth position okay number two is at fourth position so in what operator 
the fourth element is called because number two is at fourth position all right in what operators the fourth element is called uh, at third position all right only this one all right remember now we are trying to find the third position so in here number two is at fourth position but in here we need to call this number two to position number three all right so in this one only this one is calling the fourth element to be the third position so this is our answer all right so now we have two other examples maybe this one is the similar one that we did but how uh, we can try so in here we are trying to find the answer so first one doesn't matter the second one doesn't matter the third one doesn't matter okay fourth one okay now yellow is at number three all right we know now we need to make the fourth position all right the fourth position has number three all right but we know the number three is at one so which number three call the fourth position this one all right so this is your answer because this one is asking number three to be in here all right so now let's go to here so in here uh, by directly looking at it i can see the fourth position is different so i'm going to pick this one which is green uh, now we need to make the four as number four the fourth position as number four so we know the fourth position is at here now in what operator this four is at four the fourth position only this one all right so this is our answer okay now uh, this is a different type of question so now in this question uh, we have uh, input and output but now the operator is reverse it's kind of reverse it's not actually reverse it's kind of reverse because the given operator is at the bottom all right so here what we can do is uh, in in theory we can do this so after we apply this operator we will get the answer like this like number three come here number one come here which is two number four which is green number two which is blue right we get the answer then again after we apply this operator number three yellow come here number four green come here number two blue come here number one red come here all right so after applying this operator we get this input right and here after we get this uh after we apply this operator we will get this input all right so now we have to apply this specific operator it doesn't change so this is given all right so when we apply this operator you will get number three so this is our input now number three is green three come here now number one number one is yellow yellow comes here uh, now number two red comes here number four the blue comes here all right so we can do the same thing for the other two all right so now you can see the answer all right so this is our answer all right so this is also a long way and yeah as i said before this is the answer all right so the easy way is like this always check the answers all right now i know the fourth position has uh different numbers all right so now i'm going to select the position number four from the output and draw a line to find where the green is on the input okay now i know the input green is at number four so as i said before the idea is to make number four at the fourth position all right and like we explained before each of these operators put these element numbers in this order so for this operator it will rearrange this 
symbols in 3, 1, 4, 2 order. And this is 3, 4, 2, 1 order. And this is 3, 1, 2, 4 order. All right. So now we know in each of these operators where the number 4 is at. All right. So in here, the number 4 is at the third position. In here, the number 4 is at second position. And here, the number 4 is at fourth position. All right. And also, we have this predefined operator. So whatever we are getting here is again called by this operator. So in this operator, it's asking. So for an example, let's take, let's say this is your answer. So it's asking, give me your fourth position to me to become this. So will it be this? No, because when this gives the fourth position to this operator, it's asking number two. So now it's not our number two. And again, for this one, it's asking, give me your fourth position. This is number one. And this is number four. This is not correct. And here it's asking, give me your fourth position. It, give, it will give you number four. Now this is your answer. So this is your correct answer. All right. That's what we found from uh, because the previous one and this one is the same question, right? So this is the easiest way. Now you see uh, how much time we save by using this method. It's very easy, all right? So this is uh, the same thing that I have drawn. And uh, now we have two other examples. I think the first one is the same. Yeah, first one is same. We can also check the fourth element is different. So we draw a line. Number four, we need to make number four. Yeah, it's the same thing. So you come here and here you get the answer, right? Okay, what about this one? By directly looking at it, I know the fourth element is different. All right, so now I draw a line, number one. So my fourth position should be number one. Combination of these operators, okay? Number one. So now I after each of these operators I find where the number one position this is at four this is at three this is at second but in here it's asking so since we are looking at the position number four uh, at number one we are asking to give the number one to the third position in here all right so maybe it was a little bit unclear so again we found the fourth position is different, so we pick this color and draw a line, which is number four. All right? So the combination of this operator, the last position should be number one. All right? Now we know number one is at here and here and here. Okay? So since we are talking about the fourth position, uh, in this operator, in here, the fourth position, it's pulling the number three from each of these operators. All right. So in here, basically what we want to ask uh, from this question is, give me your number one. Does this give the number one from the fourth, third position? No. Does this give the number one from the third position? No. Does this give the number one from the third position? Yes. So number one is pulling. So this is your answer. All right. Okay. Now this uh, this get a little bit complicated. Now, if you watch my other videos, you will see like uh, we can go like a lot of higher levels, and this is kind of like a middle level. All right. Now we have two predefined uh, uh, operators from the top and the bottom, and you need to pick one in the middle. All right. So the basic idea is like after you apply this operator to this input you will get one is red three is yellow two is blue four is green so this is your input to this operator all right so after we apply each of these operators individually this is one two three four which means you basically have the same thing in here and this is one three two four which means one three two four this is one, two, four, three. One, two, four, three. Okay. Yeah. So now when we apply this operator again, 
you will see the answers all right so for this operator these are the inputs okay for this operator these are the inputs so number four in here goes here number two yellow goes here number one red goes here blue number three it goes there all right so likewise you can do all the operators and you will see which one is the correct answer which is this one so this is your answer again this takes time right so in our easy way uh, so this is the easy way you see the position number three is different for all the answers because of that okay in here it's a little bit tricky all right before we pick so whatever the uh, whatever the numbers we have in different positions uh, for the same position we pick that position from the uh, that element from the output all right but in here in these kind of questions like you have two operators sandwiches uh, in the middle one in here you need to pick a different position all right so in here you know the third element is different so because of that you need to find where the number where the third position is called from the bottom operator all right so since we are trying to get the third operator from here uh, you need to find where the third operator is called so in here the third operator called at number four okay because of that you need to pick the fourth element from here and draw a line okay i will tell you later what happened if you pick the third element from here okay it's not going to work so in here we pick the fourth element which is number four so the idea is to make everything like this the fourth position to be number four right so after this operator we know the number four is at fourth position okay now we we already applied this operator okay when we pick this one we already applied so we don't need to worry about this one because we we are asking which one is picking the fourth uh, position for the third position uh, in each of these operators all right so now we know the number four is here now we need to make sure this four go to the correct number three position all right so in what operators this number four called at the third position only this operator okay in here this one is calling number three for the third position which is number two so now two comes here so that's not our answer all right so in here uh, the third position is asking to give me your number two so number three comes here in here it's asking number four okay fourth element is here now we know the fourth element is at here now again automatically since we pick this one we know the fourth element is at number four all right so that's how you quickly answer this question so remember i told you like if we pick the third position here which is red we draw a line number one okay so the third position should be number one so we know the number one is at here all right so what happened after this operator so number one we are calling number one this is also calling number one this is also calling number so that's not going to work that's why since so in here you have three operators so by picking the by th by picking the fourth element in this example you already eliminate this uh this one okay because you know whatever you pick here for this answer it will it will call in the third position all right it will call the third position that way you that's why you pick this one the fourth element here all right so uh, let's do another example i think this one is also the 
same questions 1 2 4 3 1 3 2 4 1 3 2 4 yeah this one is the same question so let's do this one all right by directly looking at it i can see the third element is different all right 2 1 4 okay now uh, since the third element is different i'm going to see where in this operator where is that third position is called at here so basically this operator is asking give me your third position give me your third position give me your third position so this third position is called at the second position on this operator so we pick this color all right we pick this color and we draw a line and which is number four so we need to make the like the combination of these operators to be the second position to be number four okay now after this operator we know the number four is at here right now we don't need to consider this one anymore because we already picked this one by looking at here all right so the only thing that we need to memorize it the third position okay in here the third position is important so in which operators this third position call for number one here because now we know the fourth the fourth element is at number one position okay so only this operator calls for the number one uh, element in here all right so we have four in here now we have four in here and now we have four in here all right so that's why uh, you need to do uh, that trick okay so um, that's it for today guys because this is going to be a very long video so uh, I will uh, I will do another video about the other uh, levels like uh, we have a lot of other levels like uh, two uh, defined operators at the bottom and one uh, select operators like three options uh, those kind of things and we have like two lines uh, which is also fun uh, like two lines of questions that you have to pick uh, I also have a lot of tips for that uh, type of questions as well so um, yeah I will do another video and uh, I will also put all the other links about the explanation videos on the comment section and also in the description you can find those videos and uh, also if you have any questions just comment below and uh, like our videos and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any, you won't miss any uh, videos when we release them um so um until next time uh bye bye